Howdy there. It's Grandpa Hickory. Uh, me and my cousin, Jim, we all call him Jimbo, uh, we went up to Canada, uh, outside of Saskatchewan. We went over to Manitoba, but we went to Saskatchewan, Canada, and we went out walking, and let me tell you something. Now, it's cold here in Texas. Sometimes we get ice, maybe a little bit of snow, but not anything like them people do up there in Canada. And all you people up there, y'all have my high respects. Howdy to all of y'all from Texas, but I wanted to tell you what happened to us. Well, you see, sir, uh, we, uh, we went walking, and we walked in snow that was almost up to our waist high. And we went off, we went out in these woods, it was forest, really. Them were the tallest trees that me and Jimbo ever seen. That's what we call Jim, Jimbo. And uh, we were looking and everything, and boy, it was cold. Oh, man, it was cold. It was cold. Well, we walked along, and we went way off the road, way on out in the woods. And we come up on this old log cabin way out in the woods, and uh, them people don't have garages, things like that. There was an old pickup there, so we knew somebody was home. Well, we was heading that way, trying to get through the snow. And the snow was deep, and we were making all kinds of racket walking through that snow. Well, about that time, the door opened. And this, this elderly gentleman come outside, he's can, Canadian, and he said, Y'all! When we stop, we says, us? He says, yep. He said, y'all come on in. Well, we went on up because most of the people in Canada, they didn't talk like he did. Well, come to find out, he lived down in Texas, but he moved up there. He lives in Canada now. So he invited us in. We went inside. Boy, he was cold. He said, you boys at yet? He told him, no, sir, we haven't eaten since uh, late last night. He said, well, would y'all like to have something to eat? We said, yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, anyways, uh, we went in there and we sat down at the table and we were talking. They had a wood stove going. Boy, me and Jimbo, we were hugging that wood stove. It's one of them great big uh, 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 pot belly stoves. And he had a fireplace, too, and it was going, too. But we got close as we could, me and Jimbo. We were cold. We'd been walking a long time. So any road, we uh, we was getting warmed up. And he brought the food to the table and everything. And they had these little metal cups. They were uh, they were tin cups. He brought them, set them down on the table, and he brought this bottle out. And it was a big beer bottle. Me and Jimbo, we, we looked at each other. Anyway, he said, you boys, come on. Well, we sat down. And we took our hats off. And he said to Grace, and then me and Jimbo, we said, Amen. So he got up and he poured some of that into each one of our cups, and it was about half full. And he set the bottle down on the table, and the bottle said Moosehead. Me and Jim, we looked at each other. Like, we ain't never heard of Moosehead beer. I mean, Moosehead beer? But that's right, that's Canada. They, they got moose head beer. Because they got lots of moose up there. I'm not kidding you. They got lots of them in the woods. And that's what me and Jimbo was concerned about. Because some of them young boo, uh, moose, uh, the little bull moose, we call them moose because they're little bull moose. Uh, they'll come after you. They'll chase you. They're not scared. They're not scared. They'll come right after you. Well, any road, uh, we sat down and everything. And we started eating. And man, it was good. I mean, we, we had uh, potatoes. And, and, and some meat, some uh, fried meat. We looked at that, and it sure was good. Boy, we just eating away, me and Jimbo. And he said, you boys like them moose brains? We, we looked at him and said, uh, oh, what'd you say? He said, you boys like them moose ba brains and biscuits? We said, yes, sir. Them's good. We didn't know there's moose brains. We've eaten hog brains and eggs down in Texas, you know, pig brains. But we ain't never had no uh, moose brains. So in a row, me and uh, uh, Jimbo, we, we ate, and we sat there and talked with him for a while. And 
and he was telling us about some of the things there that goes on out in that forest and everything about some of the animals. They they got bear. They got big bear up there. And I mean, these, these things are huge. And of course, he got the little moose, uh, the bull moose. And uh, that's where he got them uh, moose brains. And uh, in the road, uh, we, we had a real nice visit. And we got up to go. And man, it had been snowing like everything. And, and he had been went in his back room and he come out and he had these tennis rackets and he had some monofilament, you know, which he used for fishing, fishing line, you know. Well, he wrote, he, uh, he said, you boys take your boots off. We looked at him. We looked at each other. We took our boots off. He said, give them, give them to me. So he took and he tied these uh, 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 tennis rackets to the bottom of our boots. And he said, now you boys got some snowshoes we looked at him we said snowshoes he said yeah he said, well they're boots but you got boots so they're snow boots and we said well uh how much you want for your your uh, uh tennis rackets because them things are expensive he said don't worry about it you boys take them and he said you're gonna find out when you walk on that snow it's gonna be a lot easier and you know what he would ride he would pull them right so, any road, me and uh, Jimbo, we left, and we made it on, we told him bye-bye, and we went on, and we got back, and we left, we was driving back, we stopped in Wisconsin, and them folks are real nice in Wisconsin, we stopped a little dairy farm there, and we went in, and, and uh, they had milk, so we got some milk from them, me and Jimbo, <laughs> we had milk mustaches for three days, <laughs> That's some of the best tasting meat I ever had in my life. And also, the, the, them people there in Wisconsin, they make their own cheese. And hey, them cheese is that thick. And them, them things, they're like this. They're huge, big old, huge, round cheese. And uh, we got the, the uh, uh, cheddar cheese from them. So, anyway, we, we left there. We come on back to Texas. And I sure am glad. I mean, it's cold here in Texas. But it's not anything like it is up there in Canada, y'all. But I just want to tell you that we had moose brain, moose brains and biscuits, and them biscuits were huge. They were about as big as your fist, and them biscuits were about that thick, oh, two inches thick, and he makes them himself. But when we go back up to Canada, we're going to stop and visit him, but we ain't going up there no more in the wintertime. It's too cold, y'all. Well, listen, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, please hit the like button. And please subscribe and help my channel to grow. I'm Grandpa Hickory, and I'm wishing you a very wonderful day and a happy winter. You folks take care now. Bye-bye.